Yo, hey, what's going on, man? It's Edge. You're competitive. You want to actually be one of the best on the park. You want to be one of the best to actually play, you know, day in and day out. And to do that, you have to put in all the work. You put in the extra work, and you have to, and you have to separate yourself from the pack by outworking everybody. I think everybody goes through hard times. It depends on what a person determines as hard times. You know, everybody has to work hard. Everybody has to overcome things. You won't find nobody that's great or somebody that's doing big-time things that hasn't had to overcome things. And for me personally, you know, I don't go into details about anything. You know, if you know me, you can look up my stories and you'll see that, you know, it wasn't an easy road to get where I got and everything that I I've got, you know, it was a product of what I come from and all the hard work that I had to put into it. I think it's the purpose. You have to have a purpose behind whatever you're doing. If you have a purpose behind whatever you're doing, it's going to really make you go hard or make you understand why you're doing it. You know, anytime you're going through something, you know, you need that extra motivation, something that's going to drive you. And I think the purpose is the most important thing. Why are you doing what you're doing? And if you love it enough and it means enough to you, you'll go above and beyond to make sure that you accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. Well, when you say one of the biggest sac- sacrifices you make as a kid is not going astray, not doing what the crowd is doing. That's the biggest sacrifice, to be able to keep your discipline and not follow the crowd. You know, So that's one thing that I think anybody that plays sports or anybody that's good in anything, they learn to resist temptation and they learn to make those personal sacrifices starting from a young age to to not do the things that you know aren't in your best interest, even though they may be the the most fun things to do right then and there. But overall, you understand the big picture. Well, for but me, it's, sports, you know, it, it brings so many different cultures, so many different, different walks of life together to chase one common goal and that's one of the things you get to see by being on the team you get a chance to actually see people or or actually collaborate with people that you probably never would have met in your life you have to be in tune with what's going on if you're going to play you know and I don't want nobody to quit I don't think a person should quit there's a reason they were doing it you know so they had to get back on track and get back to their reason get back to their why well, confidence is very important. You gotta have confidence out here because, you know, it's a it's a competitive world. It's, you know, we're, we're competitive by nature, and if you don't walk with that confidence, you know, you'll have people that are actually poke at you and jug at you or kind of discourage you. You know, but you have to have confidence. You have to have that with you every day, every time you leave the house. You gotta know that you're going to be successful. You know that you know nothing's going to knock you down. You get confidence from your parents. You get confidence from your surroundings, and you just build on it. You know, you you go in and you see these things, and once you say, you know what, I'm capable of doing this, I'm capable of doing that, that right there helps boost your confidence. And the more positive and good people you're around, the more confident you'll become. And as you become confident, everything around you will, will actually show, and it will show that, you know what, this is a very confident person. This person actually knows what, what do you want? It goes back to the purpose, the reason, the why. You know, when something is important to you, nothing else matters, you know. And if it's important to you, you'll make the, the right sacrifices. You'll balance your time out. You'll, you'll kind of end up in the circle of people that's doing exactly what you're doing. And they won't seem like you're doing something out of norm because it's what everybody else is doing and that's what your circle is doing. Well, football is a thing that I'm always be tied to. I have I have kids, I have youth programs that I deal with, so I'm always be involved with it. But you know, it it ran its course. You know, it's one of those things where you do and you know there's an ending. And so I went from the beginning to the end and actually maximized my time. So and there's nothing left for me in that game. And so all I can do is try to help somebody that's up under me or somebody up and coming, as far as. Uh, information source as far as somebody that's been there, done that, you know, that can kind of see things from their perspective. You know, I'm always there for, always been a business person, business-minded. So, 
that was one thing that you know that I always had in in my favor because that was one of the things I love to do. You know, I love to be an entrepreneur. I love being a businessman. I love doing what I want to do on my time, but actually making things work and actually being able to employ other people, help other people, and continue to just work outwork everybody. The same steps that you take to be a great athlete, those are the steps you have to take to become great in any other aspect of your life, if it's business or sport. I always want to be an example of how to overcome the odds, how to do these things, how to be successful, how to be somebody that comes from a certain situation but overcame everything and became successful or anything, but he's still successful and he's still on top and for the long for the long term. 